Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a reading vlog and it's super exciting because I am going to be reading the Shadow and Bone trilogy and the Six of Crows duology in this video. I've been wanting to read this series well over a year, I think. I've had the physical copies over a year and I'm finally going to be reading it. It is on my October TBR. I don't think I'm going to finish all five books in the month of October. It's October 20th when I'm starting this. But I do want to go ahead and start. This video is probably going to be over the course of several weeks just because I am in school and things like that. But yeah, I'm super excited. We're just going to hop into it. Um, today is obviously Taylor release. For me, I live in the Midwest, so I'm central time. So I actually get it at 11, October 20th, which is super exciting. I am doing a vlog on that, so I know that will be posted like way before this video is. But anyways, um, yeah, we're just going to read Shadow and Bone. I'll go ahead and read the back of it. Soldier Summoner Saint. Orphaned and expendable, Alina Stargoff is a soldier who knows she may not survive her first trek across the Shadowfold. A swath? A swath? <laughs> I don't know that word. Um, of unnatural darkness crawling with monsters. But when her regiment is attacked, Alina unleashes dormant magic that even she knew she possessed. Now Alina will enter a lavish world of royalty and intrigue as she trains with the Grisha, her country's magical military elite and falls under the spell of their notorious leader, the Darkling. I've heard a lot about the Darkling. He believes Alina can summon a force capable of destroying the Shadow Fold and reuniting their war-ravaged country, but only if she can master her untamed gift. As a threat to her the kingdom mounts and Alina unlocks the secrets of her past, she will make a dangerous discovery that could threaten all she loves and the very future of a nation. So, I'm super excited about this. I am just going to hop into it. I yeah i don't know i love fantasy so super excited for this okay we get like a little summary not summary we get like a, a glossary kind of so it says the grisha or grisha not sure how you pronounce it soldiers of the second army masters of the small science we had the corp corpor alki uh the order of the living and the dead heart trenders healers we had the ether elk elka ether elki <laughs> The Order of Summoners, we have Squalors, Inferni, and Tide Makers, and then we have the Materialki, the Order of Fabricators, Duras, and Alchemy. I don't know if that was pronounced right. And then, oh my gosh, look at this map. So beautiful. Also, I didn't say this at the beginning, this is going to be completely spoiler um, reading vlog. I just think it's easier for me to just talk about it. Also. I feel like most people don't watch reading vlogs unless they've read it or they're currently reading it. So just be aware, like I am just gonna freely talk about what's happening. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I always love seeing the maps, but I like actually never reference them. I just create my my own thing. But anyways, we're starting off with the chapter called Before. I'm gonna do a little book update. I just went ahead and read the prologue and also the first chapter. So basically, we get introduced to Alina, Elena, Elena, Alina. I think it's Alina. When I read it, I think Alina. So I'm going to say that throughout this video, sorry. Alina, we see her as a child with another orphan named Mal. And you can tell, like, this is a bad place. Um, lots of trauma. And you just, like, see them as children and kind of meet them. And then it goes to present day. And Mal and Alina are in the military together. And Mal is, like, this, like, hot, Gregorious, like just like fitting in and she's like kind of by herself and she's like madly in love with him but he's like seeing other people kind of thing so that's kind of where we are and i think i kind of understand the romance like i'm pretty sure the dark queen and her have a thing but i'm pretty sure she ends up with probably mal or alexi i'm not sure i feel like it's mal because it's like childhood friends to lovers type of vibe um it's either like friends to lovers or enemies to lovers in this and i'm pretty sure the friends to lovers win but i'm gonna keep on reading um good storytelling so far i like it although there was one part where she was like we have this unspoken agreement where we don't talk about our childhood but then immediately like brings up the person that took care of them as like when they were children so that was kind of funny but i'm gonna keep on reading because i like it so far just one chapter in but so far so good the amount of videos i'm recording right now is absurd i think i'm recording three but we're back to Shadow and Bone, and I just wanted to update after last night. Obviously, Taylor Swift um, came out with her new album. I'm listening to it right now. I stayed up until 2 a.m. our time, 
and we got seven new tracks and they were so good i'm actually listening to high um infidelity right now which i think is so so good one of my favorite from the like deluxe version of the album um if you will but basically i'm on chapter 16 we got to see the darkling and alina almost like have sex they basically have like a really intense makeout i think this genre i think this is ya so i don't think we'd see anything like open doors anyways it was super good and then of course she runs into mal because he's there and he hasn't been getting any of her letters and she's like oh my gosh they get in a fight because he's like you look fine um do whatever you want and she's like what no and then one of the women who has been training her actually maybe the only woman um with her powers she comes and she's like the dark plane is using you to reign terror over the entire universe and he's a liar and i'm his mother and you need to listen to me and so that's kind of where we're at right now but okay i think my sd card might have been full and that has like never happened to me before so that just tells you i'm filming a lot of videos right now but anyways um we also got to see her like developing powers and people are like kind of jealous of her because she's a dark queen's favorite but i'm excited to see like obviously she probably is feeling betrayed um so she's about to escape and i'm just going to continue reading and update you guys at a later date guys i just finished shadow and bone i really liked it i think i'm feeling like i'm gonna rate it three stars just because like it's a book I would recommend, but definitely not the best fantasy or my favorite fantasy. Basically how it ended was we see Alina, Alina? Alina like kind of be captured by the Darkling when she's with Mal. They put the collar on her. I actually don't know if I mentioned that, but they were hunting for a collar to like help her with her powers, make her strong enough to break the fold, but really the Darkling wanted to expand it. And so the Darkling puts the collar on her and kind of keeps her as prisoner and she's just keeping it up to save Mal and the Darkling kisses her and I'm like the Darkling has feelings for her but he's so like overwrapped with the sense of power that he want he doesn't care that much but her and Mal ended up escaping even though the Darkling had power over her because she was not the one to kill the stag because she had compassion the stag actually gave his powers to her and so she was able to overpower the Darkling, save Mal, and now they are on the run. And that's kind of where it ended. Um, obviously, like, I'm pretty sure I know she ends up with Mal. But it's still fun to just, like, see her and the Darkling. The Darkling was like, make me your villain. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I'm going to grab the second book and read the back of that. This book is a lot of people's least favorite from the entire Grishavir or Grishaverse. Um... So, anyways, this says, Soldier Summoner Saint. Alina Starkov's power has grown, but not without a price. She's a sun summoner hunted across the true sea, haunted by the life she took on the shadow fold. But she and Mal can't outrun her enemies for long. The Darkling is more determined than ever to claim Alina's magic and use it to take their Ravkan throne. With nowhere else to run, Alina enlists the help of an infamous privateer and sets out to lead the Grisha army. But as the truth of Alina's destiny unfolds, she sleeps deeper into the Darkling's deadly game of forbidden magic and further away from her humanity. To save her country, Alina will have to choose between her power and the love she thought would always be her shelter. No victory can come without sacrifice, and only she can face the oncoming storm interesting so this one is a lot thicker i don't know how many pages and we do get bonus material in these which is kind of fun so let me yeah, 432 pages so it's about 100 pages more somewhat um so yeah i'm going to rank the shadow and bone book on goodreads real fast so yeah okay a little update before I get ready for class. I'm on chapter 3 right now. Basically, we see them, um, Mal and Alina, free, and then they immediately get captured, and now they're aboard a ship with the privateer, as mentioned on the back of the book. So, don't really know what's gonna happen. Excited. I don't know. I feel like this is a fast read. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I'm almost 50 pages in, and I've been reading for like 20 minutes, maybe less than that, actually. So, yeah, I'm gonna go get ready for class and I'll see you the next time I see you. Hey guys! Okay, 
it has been a while since i've talked to you i've actually finished the entire shadow and bone trilogy i think the last time i talked to you i was starting the second book can't remember there's been a lot that has happened in the past week and i've just been picking up my book whenever and i actually finished the third book rise and ruin or something like that i picked that up on friday and i read it while i was at work um and yeah i like the series i rated it three stars it wasn't like my most favorite fantasy ever but I did think it was good and I'm definitely excited to watch the show after I finish Six of Crows. Um, I personally like I loved Mal and Alina like they're very cute obviously like soulmates and the twist where Mal was actually the third amplifier I thought that was super cool and really good twists like they did a great job at um, storytelling there um, because it gives him like a purpose but I personally love the Darkling and I think him and Alina could have been the power couple. I would have loved to see that. Also, Nikolai loved him to death, wanted him and Alina to be together. Um, just a lot of the conflict between Mal and Alina were, was stupid, but like I understand most of it. But yeah, anyways, overall rated that series three stars. And now I'm currently reading Six of Crows. I think I'm on chapter four. I will say when I started reading this, I feel like I'm skimming it a bit. Um, but everybody like raves about these two books specifically, Six of Crows and then, what's the, why am I forgetting? Crooked Kingdom? Something like that? Um, Crooked King Kingdom, yeah, it says on the back. But anyways, um, super excited for this because I know there's some, it's fantasy obviously, um, we're getting like multiple points of views and there's six of them and they're supposed to be doing something great. I can't tell when this takes place. I actually might look that up. It feels like it takes place years after but also I could be completely wrong because there's a guy named Misha in here and Misha was in the Shadow and Bone series and was one of the Darkling's mother's like little helper and he was a kid but here he's an adult. And I'm like, is it the same Misha or did the author just use the same name? Can't tell. But anyways, overall rating Shadow and Bone three stars. I liked it, not the best thing ever. I have high hopes for this a lot because of the raving that I've heard, but so far I feel like I've been kind of skimming it, not trying to, I'm trying to take my time with it, um, but I'm, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just like not in the most fantasy mood right now, or maybe it's a little slow in the beginning, not sure, um, but I have no idea what happens, I'm pretty sure Kaz and Inej, I don't know if that's how you say your name, I think they end up together, I think that's like the only, only knowledge I have, and we haven't even met Inej, I'm pretty sure, or no, maybe we have. Yes, we have. Anyways, that's it. Kaz seems pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure the show is like both of these series together. So that's the only confusing thing on the timeline. Like I'm like, if they take, if the show is combined, then they must take place at the same time. But it doesn't seem like that. So I don't know, but I'm going to read it. It also looks like there's another series for the Grishaverse, which I've heard no one talk about it because it's usually the Shadow and Bone trilogy, the, um, the Six of Crows duology, and that's all you hear. But it kind of looks like there is a third one in the universe, but I probably won't read it. I'll probably just stick to these two. But yeah, anyways, that's a long awaited update. Sorry, I will try to keep on updating um, you guys while I'm reading this. I'm not gonna read it today. <laughs> I started another book, honestly, and maybe that'll help me like not think this book is boring, but yeah, I have class today, it's Monday, and I'm looking forward to the day. So I will talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, I'm gonna do a little update. I am actually gonna film a day in my life vlog today um, really quick, so before I start, filming that I wanted to do a book update obviously so this morning I had class canceled and my 101 with my boss canceled so I got to sleep in it's actually the anniversary of my grandpa's death so I mean obviously like a really sad day but also um kind of nice to just have a slow morning it's like almost 10 and I'm still in my pjs and I got to read this morning and talk to my mom and so anyway sorry about that but we're gonna talk about six of crows so I read it I am just a little past um part three i think i'm like 40 percent through i've read this much this is what i have left and basically what's happened so far is we have the six characters it's inej kaz nina matthias um waylon and jesper so those are the six characters that we are seeing 
and obviously Kaz and Inez, you can just tell there's romance there. Inez actually almost died and Kaz is like freaking out and you can just tell. So I'm really excited for that. And then there's also like an enemies thing between Nina and Matthias. Um, Cause they, Nina betrayed them, betrayed Matthias, but Matthias loves her and you can tell like they love each other. So that it looks like we're getting two romances in here. And then Waylon and Jesper, I don't know if they end up together, um, but they're also characters that I seem to enjoy so far, but it's interesting. I will say it's picked up a little bit more. I'm kind of wanting to read it, but I have things to do today. And like I said, I want to film a day in my life vlog. So yeah, um, just very interesting. Um, yeah, that's a little update. Nothing too spectacular, but yeah that's it okay guys we need to do a reading update i said i would update you guys more but i didn't i finished six of crows and i have yet to start broken kingdom but we're gonna start it right now and yeah i just want to say i really like six of crows it got so good um i don't even i think i ended up reading it four stars i did also watch the entire first season of the show it was super good i actually finished it last night and yeah, I don't. I didn't feel like I missed anything from not reading this because, like, some of the plot from Six of Crows was in it, but barely any of it because they did like an entire new plot essentially. But I'm gonna go ahead and start this one. That way I can get it done. I need it. I need to be done by this in like a week because that's when I want to get my video uploaded. But yeah, we're gonna start this. I'm just gonna read the back of it because this video is completely spoiler. So if you haven't, um. If for some reason you're still watching and you don't want to know the spoilers to this book, probably click off. But anyways, this one says Kaz Brecker and his crew have just pulled off a heist so daring even they didn't think they'd survive. But instead of divvying up a bat reward, they're right back to fighting for their lives, double cross and badly weakened. The crew is low on resources, alleys, and hope. As powerful forces form around the world to send to Ketterdom to root out the secrets of the dangerous drug known as Gerda 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 Parim. Old rivals and new enemies emerge to challenge Kaz's cunning and test the team's fragile loyalties. So, I already like kind of forget how it ended, but I'm pretty sure Inej left. Nina had taken the drug, and her and Matthias were like back together. So, Inej is gone. Nina had taken the drug. I think that's where we're at right now. I can't, I can't really remember, which is not good at all. Um, but what can you do? Oh, we're getting. I don't know. Last time we got like their names as chapter titles for who that chapter was like point of view kind of. So this looks like a new person unless I'm forgetting them from the first one. So let's see. Okay, hey guys, we are going to be talking about the last book in this little reading blog, A Crooked Kingdom, or just Crooked Kingdom, I guess. I just finished this earlier today while I was getting Taylor Swift tickets actually. It was finally a good time to sit down and read it. But yeah, I ended up rating both books in the Six of Crows duology. Four out of five stars. I really like this duology more than I like Shadow of Bone. And I think that's like a trend. I think a lot of people enjoy these two books more. I'm not exactly sure why. I just think I like the characters more, the character dynamic. I definitely loved the romances within the Six of Crows duology. But yeah, sorry I didn't really update as much for this reading vlog, but I finally finished all of the books, which is super exciting. I rated the Shadow and Bone trilogy three stars, and then um, the Six of Crows duology two stars, and I watched this show. I really liked it. I don't know what I would rate that on stars, but I did really like it. The only thing is that the plot of that is much different than the books, but it's still very good and very enjoyable, and I would recommend Sorry, my <laughs> camera died. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to end this video off. Um, let me know what series I should do a little reading vlog on next. I'm gonna head to bed, as you can tell. I'm all comfy and things like that. But yeah, um, again, let me know what you guys think of this series and which one I should do next. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.